here at WAND Radio strive to bring you the very best entertainment the High Academy for the Celestial and the Occult has to offer. The Academy would like to remind our listeners that unicorns and other virtuous beings should enjoy WAND Radio at their own risk. Uh, yeah, the management is not responsible for the continued purity of your unicorn. Thank you. Rippet Sun Koenig. And Dapper Dan Man Emmett. Dapper Dan? You're Dapper Dan Man. I am a Dapper Dan Man. You use a p- pomade under your hat? A little bit. Ah, uh, does it... I, I'm, I'm curious. It's got a pleasing odor. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just kind of curious, like... Do you do you use it because it it holds your hair in place when you take the hat off, or is it in case the hat's removed, or is it just because of the odor? Yes. Enlightening. All of the above, then, huh? Yep. Well, I suppose if it works for your purpose. I can't imagine that it's easy to find in the city. Almost like you have to go on some sort of odyssey to find it. Pretty much, the city is pretty much two weeks from anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Find the right portal. There you are. Although, I turned the corner one time and I wound up on this staircase. It just went on for a very, very long time. I wasn't really sure what was going on there. Huh. Was there any, like, anything else? Like music playing or anything? No, it was actually rather silent. Uh, it smelled like baked cookies, though. I don't, I don't know why. Mm. I might have been having a stroke. Sounds heavenly, though. Were you over in the uh, the the Penrose wing? Yeah. Ah. Don't go there. Why is that? Um, I don't know. Okay. School announcements. Congratulations to the Thaco Unicorns on their victory over PFU in the homecoming joust. A celebratory mixer and picnic will be held tomorrow in the main quad. All students are welcome. The famed band Bacapella will be there to perform. Ooh, I love them. They're really good. I haven't heard them before. What's the what's their style? Um, they've got a really good song. It's a uh, We're in the Multiverse is Kenku San Diego. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 a good one. Wait, are these those Aarakocra that try to sound like other people when they do their songs? Yeah, there's a couple of Kenku in the band too. Got it. That makes sense. Yes, uh, look forward to that. Uh, and congratulations again, Unicorns. It's a, a hard-fought victory, but you earned it. The Taco Swim team is looking for more members. Tryouts will take place next week in the lake on campus. Be prepared to show off your skills, but remember that wild shaping and water breathing are not allowed and will disqualify you from the team. There's some good stuff for our first week. Seems like they just want to... It seems like they just want to, like, let everyone wild shape and water breathe. Like, uh, just make the whole sport about that. Yeah, one would think, you know, it's if you're trying to prove that you have, you know, studied over the course of the summer, that you didn't let your, you know, your academics go to waste, that, you know, that would be allowed. Mm-hmm. But um, I'm not sure. Well, I think last year after they had that were shark on the team, um, they had to make a few rules. Oh, yeah, a bit of blood in the water and it's all over. Although, I hear they're making uh, great strides in the water polo team. Oh, I bet. Really eating up the competition. Ah, yes. Of course, you know, it'd be silly for a whale shark to be treading water for so long, because don't they have to be moving forward in order to breathe? Very true. I don't know. I, I, I don't know about shark physiology. Also, is he fully transformed? Like, does he actually turn into a full shark? Or is he, like, you know, the 90s cartoon where they burrow through the streets. Um, I think it depends 
depends on the form that he's in. If, you know, he's, you know, in full crinos or if he's only, you know, half shifted. Understood. I mean, full, full crinos and then there's just no room in the pool for anybody else. Yeah, it's like a whale-sized shark. Yeah? I got an interview with him the other day. How- oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. He's a real nice guy. How'd that go? It went well. well. What did you find out? Um... What did you guys talk about? Like his favorite foods, any movies that he's gone to see. I never had anything for this. <laughs> his name? Bruce. Of course it was. I got that. It was a short interview. You know, one would think that, you know, if he was coming to the college and he was uh, a, a, a wear shark, that uh, one of the first spells that he'd want to learn is control weather. <laughs> able to transport him over vast distances and very temporarily resuscitate Tara Reed's acting career. Very temporarily. Shall we go to the questions? Yes, please. Yes, please. Dear Wandies, I have never lived away from home before and I'm a little afraid. I'm excited to be here at Thaco, but unsure of how to get over my fears of not having my family nearby. Currently, I'm staying in a tavern with my mom rather than in a dorm room. How do I get over this, and what is it that you all are afraid of? Signed, shameful secret. Well, um, usually there's going to be some sort of dorm mixer. Uh, perhaps you could come to this uh, uh, celebratory uh, picnic uh, and meet some people, you know, uh, rub elbows and make some friends. That way uh, it wouldn't be as awkward for you to be, you know, sleeping in a building full of strangers. Uh, they would no longer be strangers. They would be your friends. Uh, that might help. Exactly. I know assisted me greatly on my first week on campus. I think it's important to know that your found family can be just as important as the family that you come from. Sometimes even more so if your family's a bunch of assholes. This is true. Any words of wisdom? Do you miss Stetson? Are you talking to me? Yeah. Oh, no, I, I was just going to say, uh, I'm pretty sure I know who this is. Uh, it's a buddy of mine named Oedipus. Uh, but no, he's... Um, um, he's doing okay. Oh. I think it's I think it's better they stay where they are. Okay. Well, um, w- what is it that y'all are afraid of? For part two of this question. I'm not going first. W- okay. Um, well, um, I... Why is it asking what we're afraid of? Because sometimes it's helpful to know that the people that you look up to also are... have things like fears and anxieties. And the way we deal with our fears and anxieties may in turn help them deal with theirs. Ah. For instance, I have somnophobia. I um sometimes really uh get afraid of falling asleep. I don't like it. I like staying awake and being in charge of uh-huh. all of my faculties because uh, going to bed is sometimes um alarming. I like being in control of things ah. of my own faculties. I've never had an issue falling asleep. It's one of the most enjoyable experiences I find. I'm sorry that you experienced that. It makes me a little anxious. I mean, it's a nece- it's a necessary thing, but it does make me kind of anxious. Um, so what I've done is, is I even though when I know that I need to go to bed, I find relaxing music to listen to, or kind of do find like a meditative CD or something like that, and I lay down with the intent to rest and meditate, and that way when I fall asleep, I know that I'm putting my mind in the right situation to be restful rather than anxious. It's almost like you're preparing a ritual of some sort. Mm Mm-hmm. Little rituals can help you through the days when sometimes you get anxious about things. I can respect that. What about you, Emmett? What are you afraid of? Um, I'm afraid of finding shit in my boots. Like, things are actual shit. No, no, like like things, like uh, spiders, snakes, bugs, insects, spurs. Do you put your boots upside down when you sleep so nothing gets in them? Um, no. Do you just sleep with your boots on? Well, I put, I put mannequin foots in them. Oh, that works. Yep, stole some mannequin feet, shoved them on in there. And I imagine that helps um, keep the, the form on the, the boots as well? I suppose, sure. I think they're magical, though. Why is that? Either the boots or the... Or the uh, um, you know the uh, um, the the mannequin feet themselves, but I think I think it's the boots. And sometimes the boots, you know, they'll they'll be in a different spot. Uh, you know, when uh, when I wake up in the morning, 
Uh, I think uh, one time I caught them like walking around outside by themselves. That's why I started to get the idea that there might be something inside of them. Interesting. But, you know, it's not a big deal. I don't have those boots anymore. One time they, they were walking out, and I guess they got run over by a carriage or something. And I found them, like, in the street just all over the place. And I had to go to a cleric and talk to them about it. And, you know, uh, I was really broken up. I was worried about them, you know. And, uh, he said it was all right. That, you know, they'd gone to heaven because turns out that shoes have souls. <laughs> that is very sweet. Mm-hmm. All right, Rupert, it's your turn. What are you afraid of? I am somewhat claustrophobic. Oh. So the first spell I prepare every day is gaseous form. That makes sense. You know you always have a way to uh, escape if you feel trapped in tight places. This is very true. The main material components for preparing that spell are uh, Chef Monty's Five Phoenix Chili. Yeah, I was going to go there, but then I'm like, nah, another fart joke this soon? Apparently, you can never have too many. Evidently. All right. Well, shameful secret. Having something you're afraid of is totally normal and natural, and it's completely okay. you just got to find ways to help yourself deal with it. Um, and while staying at a tavern with your mom may help in the short term... Meeting new people, getting out of your comfort zone will help in the long term. You can't be tied to the ape and strings too long. Because eventually, you gotta leave the nest sometimes, right? This is very true. And please... Can you get any more cliches rolled into that? I'd appreciate it. Yes, I have one right here. Um, I'll go for it. Courage is not the absence of fear. It is the motivation to move past it. It is the fear of absence. No, I get them lanced anytime they show up. Ah, got it. Can we move on? Yep. Dear Rupert, Emmett, and Calliope, how many classes at once is considered reasonable? I want to double major, but I still want to graduate in four years. Is 21 units a semester too many? Signed, Ambitious Attendee. How many classes at once is considered reasonable? Zero. Works for me. It's pretty reasonable. Um, I have, uh, taken... 18 to 22 uh, credits a semester uh, fairly consistently. It is difficult, but not um, impossible if you put your mind to studying. Especially if you're first, if you're just into the college right now, uh, because you'll be working on all of your undergraduate studies for the first two years or the first year. Um, So Take as many classes as you want because the the universal credits that they work for any major, uh, and sometimes you can get a class that works for your major in your general studies. So try to do that. Uh, that would uh, that could help you out. Yep, that's why I took ethnomusicology. Ethnomusicology. Mm-hmm. Bless you. It was, it was fascinating. It was a study of different types of music from around the world and the ethnic origins of each of them. That sounds fascinating. Oh. It was amazing. It was one of my favorite classes. All right. Both in and out of character. I took home economics. That is a good class, too. You just want to make sure that you give yourself enough time to um, have time for you, too, because... Being ambitious is a good thing, and and wanting to be and, and and wanting to achieve good great things is also, you know, admirable. You just really you need to make sure that you don't burn out in the process. Right. What they said. You be you know, casting fireball, and you'll sneeze, and next thing you know, you're the one that explodes. It'd be very very bad. So don't don't even try it. Mm hmm. One day you go to sleep in necromancy class and then you just don't wake up and. and... You're mixing yourself. I mean, I would guess in necromancy class you'd wake up eventually, maybe just not alive. I don't know. Um. Oh. So wait, in necromancy class, can can you actually say you might wed, wake up dead tomorrow and it actually is true? I think it's more rise up dead than wake up, but. Theoretically. Uh, rise up? I don't know. There was this cuckoo clock one time. Hey, shall we uh, head on over to some ads? Sure.
Now Light presents Real PCs of Genius. Real PCs of Genius. Today we salute you, oh giant taco salad inventor. Oh giant taco salad inventor! A culinary invention that baffles the human mind. A 12,000 calorie salad. Akurumba! Ground beef, refried beans, guacamole, cheese, sour cream, and if there's any room left, a few shreds of lettuce. I don't see no mayonnaise. Some may ask, is your taco salad healthy? Of course it is. It's a salad, isn't it? You can eat that deep fried crunchy bowl. So crack open an ice cold dwarven ale light, conquistador of the calorie. You put the feast in fiesta. A giant taco salad inventor. Are you sick of trying to find the perfect song to match your interpretive dance routine? Do you need to drown out your roommate's incessant snoring? Can music really soothe the savage beast in your professor when your paper is late? Do you need a good intro for that podcast you're procrastinating on producing? We use Almost Perfect by Ziv Moran from the Use and Wandering album. The answers to all your woes are here, artlist.io. Now you can get two free months with your year subscription when you use the URL bit.ly slash nerdsongs. We are a proud member of the Nerdsmith Network. Please submit your questions and magic item suggestions to us using the hashtags hashtag wandradio on Twitter or tweet at us at at wand underscore radio. You can also purchase a nerd alert at www.nerdsmith.org slash nerd alert and have one of us read your message live on the air. Uh, 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 uh. questions um dear emmett you have become an interesting emissary for the university might i even say emissary no please don't do that (laughs) i would like to speak to you about an actual position here at thaco would you mind coming to my office after you finish your bout on wand this afternoon i have some questions that i would like your thoughts on bring the meat statue Signed, the Dean. Oh, shit. So I stopped listening. I stopped listening after Emmett, Sari. That was just ridiculous. Well, okay. Well, the Dean wants to see you. Well, oh, right now? After after the show. Oh, all right. She wants you to bring the meat statue. Oh, it is looking pretty good today. I just gave it a who's group. Made out of scallions. Oh, goodness. Sounds delightful. Sounds like she wants to ask you about an actual position here on campus. Oh, it's about time. Have you been gunning for an actual position on campus? Well, I mean, I'd like to be here and get paid to it, as opposed to be here and not get paid for it. That's fair. What do you think she's going to have you do? Um, probably teach. What would you teach, Emmett? Um, cowboy. Cow- you teach cowboy? I teach cowboy. Cowboy 101. Ah, is that- Leather treating, roping, being with cattle- Baking beans. Horseback riding. Shit kicking. Wouldn't be the strangest class I've heard of on campus. Cooking over an open fire. Had to scare the hell out of Billy Crystal. <laughs> How to take out the sheriff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But you don't touch that deputy. Well, well um, good, good luck, I guess. Do you learn how to shoot in Cowboy 101? Shoot what? Guns? I don't know. Yeah, uh, then, uh, no, no, I don't, uh, I don't shoot many guns. I mean, I can, I just don't. I think that, uh, that there's enough, uh, destructive forces here on campus. I think we can leave the guns at home. But, uh, if people, if the dean needs me to teach people how to shoot, I guess I can do that. Very noble of you. I'm, I'm glad that you have, uh, found a calling, as it were. Yodeling. That's another good one. Cowboy songs. How to find Laredo. That's an important one. Salsa judging contests. Nothing from New York City. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Is your call get along, little doggy? Nope. Get a rope. 
<laughs> the proper use of rhinestones. But what about all those mothers who don't want their babies to grow up to be cowboys? Well, they just don't take their class. What time would the class be off at? Uh, high noon. I was going to say midnight. Well, they're acceptable. So just at 12 o'clock. 12 hours apart. For your vampire cowboys. That's, those are the ones that come at midnight. How to find little doggies. We have a question for Rupert, too. Oh, what's that? Dear Rupert, have you ever considered changing majors? Considered it? No, I was forced to. Oh, that's right. You were forced to change specialization. Yeah, but uh, it, it, it has served its purpose. I, I, have, I am becoming much more talented than I had previously anticipated uh, coming to college. Uh, I've learned a lot, met a lot of interesting people, and um, studied under a lot of interesting professors. So have I considered changing? And that was all just in your dorm room. Listen, you. I'm listening to me. Sometimes things happen that you're not anticipating. And all of a sudden, the entire dorm is in your room going, Oh, look at that miniature wizard. Looks like that he shrunk himself down accidentally because of that spell. Oh, no. Yeah, this is hilarious. It's great times. Transmutation is not my specialty. I just thought you'd taken a really, really cold shower. Well, don't dress your penis up like that. Both of you with the dick jokes. Okay. Come on, you gotta let me have some fun sometimes. <laughs> That's what she said. What? I don't get it. Shall we uh, go go to a, a magic item here? No. How about how about this? Uh, there's one for you here, uh, dear Calliope. I was asking my stealthy instructor where the best place to hide during an encounter would be, and they said behind a pile of dead bards. What are your thoughts on that? <laughs> I like that one. You're a bard too. Shut up. Yeah, then that's why it's true. But I'm a cowboy bard. That's the difference. I'd like to have a 10-minute uh, conversation with that so-and-so. Oh, what would you say? Mm, that's not as effective if I say it on air. I don't think she'd say much. Uh, bards are extremely versatile and absolutely are imperative to a good party. They are more useful than most people think. What would you say is the most useful you've been in a party where it affected, it actually affected party cohesion? Me personally? Yeah, you personally. I know you've done field trips. Well, um, I did, how I was on a field trip once where there was a small mutiny um, happening in the party and I stepped forward and I had a small conversation with um, the leader and um, about a minute later there was no more argument. So you could say that I uh, saved the field trip that way. Also, I am excellent at entertaining. What was, the, what was the argument about, if you don't mind my asking? He was afraid to go explore something um, that was important to the goal of the field trip, and I simply explained that there are many other things to be more afraid of. So, <laughs> you, you managed to diplomance him into being afraid of other things, more so, so that he would move on. <laughs> yep. See, the only field trip that I've ever been on, the, all of a sudden all of the sack lunches were eaten. That sounds, um, irritating. Yeah, I mean, who eats that many sack lunches? So, what's this magic item that we have? Looks like a gravy boat. Um, it's called the Oil Lamp of Desire. Okay. So, apparently, you rub it and you get, um, your heart's desire. Uh, uh Emmett, would you like to try this, or is this on me? Here you go. Nope. I'm, I'm good. I got I, nothing I need. I got everything I want. Oh, yeah? Is Flossie right next to you right now? Absence makes the heart grow fonder. Okay, um, here goes. Okay, uh, giving it a rub, and... Who summons me from my lamp? Um, wow, you're small. Um, uh, I do. Uh, Rupert von Koenig. Ah, uh, Rupert von Koenig. I... Called it a gravy boat. You called my home a gravy boat? 
It looked like a gravy boat. I've never seen a device like this before. What am I supposed to call it? The lamp. You rub the lamp. A lamp. <laughs> I rubbed your lamp. I woke you up. I brought you here. Very small, Gene. Didn't have to rub very long. It kind of came out pretty quick there. What can I say? My fancy gets tickled, I appear. Fair enough. Maybe, maybe, maybe Rupert's just that good. Lots of practice. Perhaps. I am here to grant you your heart's most mundane desire. I wish... <laughs> Wait, mundane desire? There are some quid pro quos, etc., etc. You must be truthful about your desire, or I will not grant your wish. Okay. This amount of pressure, I would do Okay, um... Your most mundane desire. Your heart's most mundane desire. Look deep within your heart. And figure it out what it is that you desire. <sighs> All right. Can I, oh, um, I didn't get lunch. How about a bowl of chili? I knew it. I knew. I knew it was going to be a bowl of chili. Good thing we got the budget for new chairs. New semester for the win. Eat that outside the studio. Wait, I don't. This color in here. I think. This is six Phoenix chili. Hey, Jesse, what is Champions of the Earth? Why, Champions of the Earth is a live play radio drama hybrid about Power Ranger, Voltron, crazy action. Does it have teen romance? It has teen romance. Hey, guys. And, um, hey, hang on a sec. And what else does it have? Is there cool ability? There's cool ability. There's an original game system that we're playing together uh, uh, and hey, beta hey, testing. Hey, guys, I mean, this is kind of important. Can you... Okay, call in just a second. We're trying to tell people about Champions of the Earth. Okay. It sounds um, really cool. There's uh, there, So it's a cool mix of high school drama, superpowers, and there's mech combat. Yeah, but right now, there are monsters coming over the horizon. What are we going to do, guys? We Whoa. get out of here. Ah! Marcy, save us. Hang on. I got this. Champions of the Earth. Find us wherever podcasts are downloaded. Check us out at championscast.com. And go have yourselves an adventure.